Right, and welcome back, guys. So this is going to be the first uh, trial, and hopefully it goes well, of the smallest ever um, Minecraft uh, fish farm, automatic fish farm in Minecraft 1.11.2. Um, the re Every single block is necessary here, except from that one there. And technically this one here, the but the reason why I have that on like that is so when I do fishing... I'm not constantly right clicking and activating the no block, even though it does sound rather lovely. I suppose you could technically start it so you can have a little song going on, but yeah, as you just saw, I picked up a fish, so it could be quite annoying quite fast. But so I keep that one as a necessary block. Apart from that, every single block here is 100% necessary. Um, and I'll go through what everything does. So the reason why you have a note block, so you can constantly right click something. However, uh, if you didn't have the door there, when you ca catch a fish, it will then, the tripwire hook will then untrigger closing the door. And then you'll be able to catch the fish. And then, so for example, I got some here. And I'll show you again, hopefully this will work quite fast. So you see, I've cast up the line. I'm hopefully going to catch a fish any second now. And then as soon as I catch the fish, the door will close. I will catch, I will keep the fish in my energy. There we go. And the door will reopen. So there we go. Um, so yeah, this is the smallest fish farm in Minecraft 1.11 to 2. And um, to, it's, I understand some of you might just be copying it right now. However, I'm going to do a complete overview on how to make it. So these are the minimum amount of blocks required. So let's start off with the hopper, the chest, the slabs, the stone bricks, the triple eye hooks, the string, everything but the water. <laughs> um, so let's start with the slabs and go one there and then you go chest, hopper, oh that is not a hopper, a hopper on top of there, that like that and you want this on all directions but the back and you can if you want put down the the door right there like a so, so that's going to hold the water back then you want to put in the big stone bricks you want to have a block back here like so put the piece of redstone on that then you want to put the tripwire hooks either side have the slabs on top like so and the one behind it and then you remember have to put the note block there and that is it and then the last thing to do for and f first and foremost is to put in the water and the most important thing some tips and tricks oh yeah the last thing i forgot to do was put the string in so then when i open that the door's open and just to double check this still works let's uh do a little test here oh also another thing is to aim for the top and now i'm going to go through some tips and tricks for doing this First thing, you're going to be AFKing, so remember to have it, the area that you're going to do it, either have it um, in a very known area when you know it's going to be safe, or um, have it underground. If you're going to do it underground, remember to have a, a source block, sorry, light coming to the water source block. So a piece of glass works absolutely fine, even if it's underwater, it'll still work 100%. Um, next thing so you'll need some you need some tips so when i first did this i didn't know like how to do when i was holding right click and i wanted to do some other stuff let's say i wanted to edit or render just stuff to do when i'm not at the computer so or not directly using the computer um f3 p like so uh pause on lots focus enable so that's when you alt tab and your game pauses um so enable that so you want to have it so you want to have it disabled so that when you hold down right click and you alt tab your computer then doesn't go it doesn't hit, go into that screen and therefore your character stops moving so that's the first thing that you need if not you can just put a little tape down on your right click and watch your computer go as long as you don't really want to use it like if you're going to use it overnight that might be a plausible um option too next thing is to do F11 plus your option. F11 makes your computer go full screen. And I have had more success going from the one where it's like a windowless border, uh, just a, sorry, a windowed um, game to a full screen game. So you want to hit down F11. Uh, so I'll show you now. So if you hold down 
uh, right click and then hit F11 and then as soon as you hit F11 let go of right click your character should just continue doing the same motion whether right that's running right clicking punching it will continue to do that indefinitely until you hit another action on it so what I normally do as soon as I come in instead of me having to um, open up a chest or open up a furnace I just hit my inventory key which for me is I and then your character just goes back to normal so yeah um i think that's everything if you guys did enjoy this video remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next adventure peace